Welcome back, people! This is an expire of Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke. Last time we started out the very long trip to Fortree City, as you can see right here in the Pokenev. We started out by exiting the gym at Petalburg City, that is all the way over here. We took a very long walk, and after using the HM Surf, we are now halfway into it. <laughs> it feels nice! I know I could have easily edited out most of it, but you know what? I just had to share the whole trip. We needed a much needed break for this. Because we faced two gyms in a row, so... <laughs> a nice little scenic view is in order. But now, I think it's about time we hurry up and finish it off, so... Let's just go. Oh, you saw me. Who has the knowledge and the technique for survival? Pokemon Rangers, that's who! That's very nice. Pokemon Rangers are very nice, actually. They kind of experts to help travelers, they do that kind of stuff, but uh, I'm not exactly somebody who needs to be saved or to be looked after. I can do pretty well for myself, thank you very much. And unfortunately, because you're in my way, I'm gonna have to take down your only Pokemon you have. Come on now, Mega Drain isn't really going to do much to us. I believe the one we do need to worry about is Giga Drain. But I don't think I'm gonna run into too many Pokemon that do that, so I think we're good. And the other thing is that healing attacks being used on me are a good thing. Because, you see, it prevents trainers from using items on their Pokemon, because it prevents the certain HP values to trigger the event, so that's very good for us. That little bit of healing, it was just your undoing. I didn't have enough Pokemon, know how. Yeah, yeah, you know, you cannot exactly call yourself a Park Ranger when you are doing this. I meant to say Pokemon Ranger, my bad. To break away from civilization and awaken the wild spirit within. That's our vision. It's a pretty awesome vision, I gotta say. Kudos for that. Well. Let's just continue. I don't really need to battle too many trainers here. All I need to do is just get right to it. Oh, I could have had an Oddish. That's a shame. Having an Oddish means I could have a Bile Plum. But that's not gonna happen here. Maybe it's gonna happen in the next route. But uh, that is unlikely as well. <laughs> because I believe a Kecleon appears in the next route, so... Uh, I kinda want a Kecleon. I never really used one. Oh hey, I didn't see you. If you're not on your if you're not on your guard, you're in for some pain. Well, kid, we will see about that. Uh, because you really don't know what being in a world of pain is really like. You haven't really lost any partners like I have. Fortunately for you, I'm going to do you that favor and I'm going to show you exactly what a loss feels like. Man, this Nuzlocke run is turning rather dark, isn't it? <laughs> oh, thank you for reading my mind. You're making a little effort to understand me, but don't, don't worry. I have a more practical way to make you understand. <laughs> but yeah, as I'm saying, this adventure started all very cheerful, but the more I'm progressing, the more... the more filled with vengeance I feel. Our protagonist is more interested in making everybody else feel the pain. And I fear that the more losses our protagonist suffers, the more he's gonna be driven over the edge. I know it sounds like a very edgy storyline, but that's <laughs> that's kind of part of the course. It's not like this character is very hopeless. At least I hope it's not. But let's just see where this takes us. You fail to use Nightshade, and maybe a faint attack will do the trick. Or you're gonna keep using Double Team like a true scumbag. If only I had my swell on me, it will be using Aerial Ace and that will be a one-hit KO. And that will feel so good, but you know what? This feels good too. <laughs> Level 33, thank you very much. Knockoff! I believe that is not a very good move, so let's just... let's just remove it. Because I believe the majority of the enemy trainers, they're gonna be using just berries. They only use berries and... Berries are actually a very good thing for me because they prevent trainers from using their healing items, you know, 
from using super potions, full restores and the like. So, in a way, having a berry held up in order to help themselves is pretty much their undoing. Very cute that you're trying to use smoke screen on me, but base is just not having any of it. See what I mean? Even though Base is a quiet Pokemon, ironic because it's a loud red, it really knows how to express emotions. Base knows how we feel. You're surprisingly good! Well, being in a world of pain kinda helps, you know. My surprise attack ended in failure, of course it did. You're not exactly good enough. Oh well. I believe we made it to the to the Weather Institute. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, no, don't go to the Weather Institute. You know what? Because I'm a freaking rebel, I'm going to disobey you. Besides, I do have a couple of unfinished business with you people, so... I'm just gonna have some fun. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun taking down every last one of you. I am really, really gonna pay you back for Brave Wing. That bird died long before its time. What's the kid doing here? Oh, I'm only here taking my revenge on you. I am dedicated to take your calls down for good. And you have a Carvana! Thank you! That's some that's some nice easy target for my little grubile here. And off you go. <laughs> Nicely nice, and you only did five damage. That is... that is surprising. I thought Rough Skin will do more than that. Oh, well, I'm not gonna complain. Yeah, you lost, lady. Get used to it. I'll catch an ear for, for losing to a kid. I should just take a nap in the bed. I... I will take you in on that offer, but unfortunately I kind of hate every last one of you, so... You can just piss off. The boss got interested in the research they have going here, so they sent he sent us out. You, quit meddling! I don't really plan on stopping my meddling anytime soon. Every last one of you needs to pay. You got a Subat. That's not good. You may be level 27, but you got stabbed against my grass type, so... That will not be necessary. Oh, you wanted to use Astonish? Okay, I can deal with that. I'm gonna stump you for your problems, because Subat is part flying, that means he knows wing attack, and I'm not gonna take my chances. Not anymore. Not after what happened to Tlaloc. Instead, what I'm gonna be using is that I'm going to continue to stump your Pokemon to death. And off you go. <laughs> Feels nice. Feels very nice. Blasted! Blasted by a kid! Oh, and I'm gonna continue to blast you as many times as necessary. Our boss knows everything, but I'm just a grunt. What would I know about what he's thinking? Good, I... good, um... That's a good point to make. Too bad you're not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. That's why you're so easily led. Instead of leading, let me lead you into a world of pain. The Institute created a type of Pokemon that has something to do with the weather. We are here to take them! Oh, not on my watch, my friend. Not on my freaking watch. Pachiena, huh? I can deal with that. Very good. I'm still surprised Leaf Blade is made like that. Because there's Leaf Blade and then there's Razor Leaf. What exactly is the difference? Other than the fact that Leaf Blade somehow causes me to be hurt? But it really shouldn't, because just look how it goes! I I'm still not sure how physical that is, but uh, it's whatever. It really is not like the rough skin is doing anything to me, it's taking 5 HP from me. That's just surprising. <laughs> Our plan's been spoiled by a kid! Yes it is, my friend. Yes it is. If the Pokémon they made here can control the weather freely, then we of Team Aqua definitely need it. And uh, that is exactly why I'm gonna be taking it from you. You don't deserve it. You deserve to have your cause taken away from you. We are Team Aqua. We are here when everything rare is found. Stupid bosses. I hate them. 
Oh boy, you wanted to find something rare? Well, you found me. A young trainer that is ready and thirsty for revenge. Come on now. One, two, three. I love me some good old one, two, three. Don't you agree? Don't you love it too? <laughs> there we go. You're gonna use a super, I'm not gonna take my chances. Come on, base. Let's show them what we are made of. Nice, but I'm just gonna go ahead and stomp you. Nice, nice. You wanna use a Carvana? Eh, might as well. It's gonna save me the time to grind, that's for sure. And you get a Carvana. And, well, maybe the right thing to say is you had a Carvana, because you don't exactly stand a chance against me. Very good. You got me! And I got your Pokémon. <laughs> you don't have any idea what we're Team Aqua are working towards. You stay out of your way. Uh, that's a very nice threat coming from somebody who just lost. So now let me take care of your leader here. You're going to meddle in Team Aqua's affairs. You either are absolutely fearless and pretty ignorant over both. You're so cute, you're disgusting. I'll put you down, kitty. How about I put down your Pokemon instead, lady? I'm not exactly anything of you mentioned. What I am is a very angry young trainer who had his Pokemon taken away way before in their time. So, I'm just giving you some much needed retribution here. Bye bye. Very nice. You're getting close, you know what? I'll take your my Diana down too. Ah, oh, my Diana, you're so awesome, but I guess you were not meant to be for me for this playthrough. And off you go. Oh, that was not enough! And you try to get, and you try to take a bite out of me, huh? That's um that's commendable, but it's definitely not enough. I was ready for you people. Very good. Just three more levels and we will get a septile. I am happy. You're disgustingly strong. I am. <laughs> ah, we got metal with unexpectedly. We are out of options. We have to pull out to put this in the last you'll see of Team Aqua. We have other plans. Don't you forget it. Don't worry, I don't plan to. Thanks to you, we are safe. It may be another way to thank you, but take this Pokemon. You don't seem to have any room for this Pokemon. Uh, no, I really don't. I kind of already have a Pokemon here, but you know what? For the sake of the narrative, I'm going to open up a slot in my team, and I'm going to take it because... Between risking you keeping it and having Team Aqua coming in and raid you again and just having me keep it for the sake of security, I'll just go ahead and do that. And we got 13 Pokemon for backup. Wow, that's <laughs> that's a lot. But uh, having a big backup is not gonna do any kind of a difference if my team gets wiped out, so we better make sure it doesn't happen. And as I said, I'm taking your Pokemon. Thank you. That Pokemon changes shape according to the weather conditions. There are plenty of them in the Institute. Go ahead and take it. Okay, maybe that's not the best plan, but you know what? At least I'm keeping one safe from Team Aqua. And maybe Team Magma. I might be considering the Malis right now, but uh, you never know what they're capable of. What I am capable of, though, is that I'm going to be keeping this cast form safe. Ah, uh, level 25, you have a Mystic Water! You know what? I'll take it. I believe Mystic Water is gonna be perfect for Water-type moves, so... Thank you. And like I said, I already got me a Tropius in this route, so... Even though this is an event Pokémon, I'm not exactly gonna be using this one, so... Let's just put you right here in the collectibles. Yes, I went and captured a Skitty because 
skitties are disgustingly rare and I just wanted to capture one for the sake of having it. I'm not gonna be using it, so it's gonna be staying here in the collect box. Ah, the retire box, I, the, the less we see about it, the better. Alright, let's just go. We got some more battling to do. But first, let's rest. It's kinda weird that uh, this weather institute only has one bed, but I'm not really gonna go and question that. Instead, what I'm gonna be doing is that uh, I'm gonna continue my journey. Oh, it even stopped raining. That's a good sign. Maybe good things are finally going to keep happening to us. Or maybe we're gonna run into May. Brother, where were you? I was looking for you. How much stronger have you gotten? Let me check for you. Ready for your Pokemon? Of course you are! Go! Okay! Very nice. I'm pretty sure I can take you on, me. Let's see what you got for me. A Whalmer, level 29. And I got a Grovel with spa with a freaking stab, so... Yeah, this is kind of an unfair matchup. Yep. <laughs> Um, it really feels nice when you get to take down a tanky Pokemon like Whalemer in one shot. You're gonna use a Combuskin. Well, one of the many ways we can extinguish a fire is by stomping on it, and that is what we're going to do. Thankfully, May hasn't really done anything to earn our wrath, so... This is more of a friendly battle. We're not really looking to shed any blood. We're just playing Pokemon the way it's supposed to be played, because May is actually a friend. Oh, you bulked up. That might be a bad sign. Yeah, yeah, you got more defense, but is that really gonna save you? Maybe it will. Now, I just realized Combuskin is part fighting and it knows fighting moves, and it definitely has stab against base, but you know what? I have confidence. This is definitely not going to bite me. I refuse to believe this is going to bite me. I take it back. I... I really take it back. <laughs> Why does this keep happening to me? Why does this game insist on making me eat my own words? Seriously! Oh man, I, I, I'm sorry, Kambaskin, but... I'm not gonna let you take any more of my friends, oh my god. I am... Um, Hunter? Help us out, please? And it knows Peck, but it doesn't have Stab, so I'm, I, I should be safe in that regard. Oh god. Come on now. Oh, I can take it, I can take it. Come on, don't miss. There we go. Woo! Uh, the funny thing is I still don't feel like I want to take uh, Revenge on May. Instead, what I'm gonna be doing is... I'm gonna give you a couple of friendly headbutts to remind you to please... Never kill my Pokémon again, please. I'm not gonna use Fury Swipes. Instead, I'm gonna give you a friendly headbutt. There we go. Another friendly headbutt. Off you go. Ah, oh, man. Acha, you're strong. I was worried that you'd be me struggling with your training. Well, I will be struggling a lot less if you stop killing my Pokémon. Maybe, sort of. But I had absolutely nothing to worry about. Keep it up. And here I have a present. You just gave me the HM Fly, and for that I thank you a lot. Just fly in, your Pokémon will instantly carry you to any town you've already visited. But to use Fly, you have to get a gym badge for Fur Tree City. That's important, so don't forget. You should fly him home and visit Little Row for a change. I bet your mom's worried about you. Let's meet again somewhere. Well, yeah, she kind of sent me to check on my dad, and I never really returned. But uh, base, you were so awesome in helping me channel my emotions. You yelled at your enemies. You stomped on them. You really knew how to help me get my frustration out. And now, it's time for you to rest, my friend. You will be definitely missed. Lost, but not forgotten. 
And again, because we're past the 20 minute mark, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. This is <laughs> all sorts of depressing. Oh well, we still got the gym ahead of us. Are we gonna be able to get our sixth batch and get closer to the Pokemon League? Or are we gonna continue to lose our friends? I guess that is something we're gonna have to find out in the next one. <laughs>